If you're planning a cruise right now, there is no better time to get free or ridiculously cheap cruise cabin upgrades. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are looking to save money on a cruise or just make your dollars stretch a little bit further, there's no better way than by getting a free or a really inexpensive cruise cabin upgrade. Now, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the tips and strategies and tactics that really work in 2022 and beyond including the strategy that my friend used to snag an amazing upgrade to a mini class cabin for $15. It's all coming up ahead in this video. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's get started. Number one, Book a guarantee cabin. Now by booking a guarantee cabin, you really have a high likelihood of actually getting a free cruise cabin upgrade. Now I have to caution you because this is not for everybody. If you really want to know where your cruise cabin is located, then you should not book a guarantee cabin. A guarantee cabin means that the cruise line is going to choose your location for you. However, when you're paying and booking a guarantee cabin, you could never get a lower category. So if you do book an ocean view guarantee cabin, for instance, you have every chance of being upgraded to a higher category of ocean view or even getting upgraded to a balcony cabin. So if you're really not picky and you wanna gamble a little bit, then go for a guarantee cabin. Number two, book with a travel agent that specializes in cruises. Now, when you deal with a travel agency that sells a lot of cruises, many times what they'll do is they'll actually have cabins that are available that they've held quite early as a group space and they will be priced lower than what you can get directly by going with the cruise line. So this is always something good to check. In my experience, if you book six months in advance or more, and if you're looking at mid-range prices of cruises, you will find the best deals by going with a travel agent. Number three, upgrade your cabin before you make your final payment. Now, when your final payment is coming due, do not just go and pay your final payment. Before you make your final payment, you do wanna make sure, check, what the current price of your cabin is. Well, for two reasons. One of them is because if the price of your cabin has gone down, you can actually ask for that lower price. So that in itself is good. But at the same time, you'll want to take a look at what is the next category up? Maybe you're in an ocean view and you'd prefer to be in a balcony cabin. Take a look to see if it's really much more expensive. It may have also gone down in price and this is a great time to upgrade. Number four, even if you've made your final payment on your cruise, don't stop looking at the price of the cruise cabins. And the reason is because if the price of your own cabin has gone down significantly, you'll probably want to take a look at what is the next higher category. Is it the same price? Is it just a little bit higher? What you can do is call your travel agent or call the cruise line and ask if you can pay that difference to upgrade to that higher category. And I can tell you a few years ago, what we did is the price difference between our ocean view cabin on a celebrity cruise and our balcony cabin was $38 for yes, three people. It was an absolute no brainer. The cruise line allowed me to upgrade my cabin and for $38, I was thrilled. That was absolutely the best, most inexpensive cruise cabin upgrade. Number five, bid for an upgrade. Now this one is really working and getting good results in 2022 and in good part because most cruise ships are really not sailing full. So you have a really good chance of being able to win your bid if you do bid for an upgrade. Now which cruise lines do this bidding for an upgrade? Basically it is Royal Caribbean, Celebrity and Norwegian Cruise Line. There may be some others as well so let me know please if you have tried this on other cruise lines but basically the way it works is it's sort of like an auction process the cruise line will actually send you an email. They'll let you know that you can bid for certain category upgrades and they will have a minimum bid. It's kind of like a silent auction, if you will. So you'll put in what amount you want to bid. It has to be above that minimum or the same amount as a minimum. And I've heard of people that are bidding the minimum, taking a chance, and they're actually getting it. So this could be something good to try. Now, a word of caution, if you've already chosen your cabin, and you are particular about your cabin location, it does end up being a little bit like a guarantee cabin in the way that if you do win the bid, um, you'll be charged by the way automatically on your credit card. So you don't really get asked for permission at that point. So be aware of that. 
and at the same time your cabin can be anywhere on the ship but if you're not picky and you'd like to go from an ocean view to a balcony or to any other category this can be a really good way to do it number six look for discounted upgrade opportunities that will come from certain cruise lines now princess and holland america will often do this on some of their cruise ships that are just not booked up fully and what they will do is they will send an email either to your travel agent or to you and it will be a paid upgrade opportunity now this will be first come first serve so you really have to act on this quickly if this is something that you want but if you are booked in a balcony for instance you may get an upgrade opportunity to go to a mini suite for maybe as little as two hundred dollars a person so you do have to keep an eye on this it is first come first serve but it can be a great way especially now while cruise ships are not full to upgrade your cabin for less than you would have paid had you booked that upgraded cabin at the beginning of your booking process. Now, if you are looking for a way to keep track of your booking, your cabin, any upgrades, any payments that you've made, we do have the Ultimate Cruise Planner. And this is a downloadable, printable cruise planner that is 47 pages that will help you to keep track of your booking and keep organized from the time that you booked your cruise all the way through disembarkation. It includes cruise packing lists, payment and refund tracking forms, and more. I'm gonna leave the information linked in the description below in case you're interested in taking a look to see what is included. Number seven, and I have to say I'm really excited about this one because it actually worked for my friend. Now it has two parts. Part A is you can ask for an upgrade at the time that you embark on your cruise ship. Now I've seen this actually suggested in many articles. I don't know anybody that it's actually worked for any time in recent years, but if it has worked for you, please let me know in the comments below. But part B actually just worked for my friend just a couple of weeks ago. And this is once you're on board, go to guest services and ask about an upgrade, if not free, what it would cost to upgrade to another category. Well, just how much would it be and if there is any availability. Well, my friend was able to upgrade on a Princess cruise ship from a deluxe balcony cabin to a club class mini suite for $15 per person per day. On a seven day cruise, this was a tremendous value. Definitely worth it. She didn't think it would really work. It really did. This was towards the end of the day on the first day of the cruise. I've heard other people say they've tried this on the second day of the cruise. If this has worked for you, please let me know in the comments below. I think it's a great time to try it because cruise ships are just not sailing full and they may have that availability. Number eight, is there a problem with your cruise cabin? Now, maybe you're in a cabin and there is an issue with the cabin. Maybe there's a problem with your toilet or maybe there is a stain on your couch. There could be things that can be wrong with your cruise cabin, especially now when there are empty cabins that are available on many cruise ships. Consider going down to guest services, let them know about the problem, and likely they are going to change your cruise cabin. But if they're going to change your cabin anyway, take the opportunity and ask if it's possible to have a goodwill gesture and have a free cruise cabin upgrade. You never know, they may just oblige you and you get a better cabin. Number nine, if you're celebrating a special occasion like a special anniversary or a special birthday, let your travel agent know when you're booking or let the cruise line know when you're booking. And as well, what you can do is when you do call for additional information, don't feel bad about reminding them how excited you are about celebrating this special occasion on the cruise. And you can come straight out and ask if there are any opportunities for an upgrade that are available, how much you'd appreciate it. You just never know if this can actually happen for you on your cruise. Number 10, loyalty perks or past passenger benefits. Now there definitely are some advantages to sailing with the same cruise line again and again and again. And one of those are that sometimes you will have category upgrades. Many cruise lines have this, and this is at the time of booking. As well, you may find that there are sometimes discounts on certain categories. So if you are, for instance, going to be booking an ocean view cabin, take a look at booking a cabin that is maybe in a balcony cabin and ask if there are any past passenger discounts for this. Sometimes there are, in particular, we have had that with Royal Caribbean where we've saved $200 on a balcony cabin and that really made that nice difference for us to be able to upgrade from an ocean view to a balcony cabin with a minimal difference. Now I'm gonna leave the information down in the description below about the Ultimate Cruise Planner. It is $10 off right now if you are interested 
in checking that out. And I'd love to hear from you what cruise cabin upgrades that you've gotten, if you found that being a past passenger or having any loyalty perks has worked really well. If you've tried the bidding, please let us know what tips you have down in the comments below. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. And as well, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.